this is Bard's Tale 3. Um, I'm back to commenting on the game because I've had my fill of grinding. I probably could use some more, but I had enough for now. Um, so, uh, our, this is my party being loaded, are the Iron Goddesses, and uh, today I'm going to try to travel down into Unterbrae 3 and map, start mapping that out. The third level of the, um, the, the second dungeon under the ruins of Scarabray. Um, so uh, with that in mind, um, I, I guess I'll head out. Uh, so I have a bard sword now, which I found at the end of the session before started grinding, which means I can play... Oh, this is a little loud for me. There we go. Um, I can play music at any time. For example, I need to refill my spell points, so I could just switch over to the Rhyme of Duo time. And uh, there's no cost. I could just use any song anytime. I can use every song, every single round of every combat and never run out, and I don't have to carry booze around. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I'm also less excited, but slightly excited about how most of my mages pretty much can cast all of the Conjurer Magician spells now. Uh, so I don't have to worry about running a, a one of my mages out of spells just for a trap zap. Uh, I probably should start heading over to the also, if you, um, I, I kind of hope you didn't, but if you watched the grinding episodes, you probably have seen I got so many harmonic gems. So uh, I have more magic point potential than I know what to do with. And I'm not going to even bother to wait for my spell points to refill before heading down because there's no point. I have, oh, this guy just wants to die. Um, uh, I don't know, I can refill my spell points maybe seven or eight times. Uh, so, first let's, let's cast the spells. Like, that I can just alternate which one is casting the spells to spread out the um, spell point use because they both can cast them all. I don't, I don't have to worry about it. Uh, similarly, I no longer have to fear much about getting stuck in the dungeon. Uh, I have crap loads of gems. I have um, large spell point pools. It means I can heal my party quite a bit. I'm sure there's going to be places where I screw up, but. It's. Um, I feel much, much more powerful than last time around, which is kind of a nice feeling. Incidentally, I'm recording this in a different environment. Uh, I don't think this headset is very good at noise cancelling, so we'll see um, if this causes problems. If, it's, if there's noise in the background, like, I don't know, white noise essentially, well, so it goes. I still have many, many more experience points to gain before the end of the game, and uh, a lot of them will matter. But, um, oh, so as a result, I'm going to keep on fighting most fights, even after I ground, grinded, ground, for quite some time. But, uh, while I'm on a floor that I know is easy, I can s speed up at least the scroll rate.
So why is this up at all if I'm not going to update where I am? Oh, a shadow shift. That I didn't see who has it, and I don't want it. Cantrell? No, you've got to have your full inventory. I had, I found like two more uh, fire horns, and I started throwing fire horns away. It was kind of an odd feeling. Also, in this environment, I have a different keyboard. A keyboard without a touch bar. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. So I don't accidentally press the touch bar when trying to choose characters, which means uh, I don't completely misunderstand what's happening in the game and select the wrong person. But somehow F keys get translated into select a character. something. I always drop this because I doubt it's a big upgrade and I have no way to identify it. Since my rogue failed. Elena, that's you. You failed. You have one job. And you, f and, well, you have kind of two jobs, but. So one thing that the um, Endless Bard songs gives me, of course, is steady a steady flow of healing. But another one it gives me is no particular reason to leave the dungeon. And between all of the harmonic gems I have and the infinite bard songs, Oh, let me update my position on the map. I'm over here, approximately. Oh, no, that's not quite right. I started along this path. It's a zigzag to the uh, stairs down. Ooh, a day blade. I think that is an upgrade. So Lady Oak Shield, I believe, has a date blade. Um, but I don't think Grisnock does. Maybe you using Grisnock. Oh, she does. So she's useless. Go away. I mean, I guess it's not technically useless. I could um, use the charges to make light. But with lots of um, harmonic gems, I have all the spell points I could possibly eat. At this point, my bellwether for party health is going to be the bard's hit points because they're far below maximum and I'm gonna try disarming that first because I am feeling crazy. Oh I set it off and it hurt no one. Another gem. Might as well start using them because I'm gonna run out of inventory soon. That wine skin. I'm pretty sure I don't need that. Discard. Oh, 
Elendor mm-hmm. seems to be catching up with Griselda on spell points a bit because Elendor has like 23 intelligence at this point. Which is nice. I mean, it's nice to have them get closer in capabilities, so... I don't know. I guess it'd be nice if they both had really high capabilities, because that's how it feels nice to me. Interchangeable parts. A blood alkylate. Those blood alkylates are still a problem for me. Um, they cast the spells that push push me my party away from them, and that means I can't hurt them. And then my my rogue is still too inept to reliably kill them at distance. And they, you know, they're gonna keep on withering me. Robin's tomb because I think I don't want to deal with a lot more of them because they could all breathe at once. Can you, can I capitalize? Nope. Okay, so I don't always hit it off. Maybe it's just a harder trap. So, or maybe I misidentified it those other times. Anti-magic. Twice. That's one of the nice things I can do now. Because those Zeth Mage's spells could be can be mean. Um, they could theoretically do a lot of damage if they all decide to use their spells repeatedly. And it seems that, um, I'm not sure if it's, uh, well, farming the wind heroes is not nearly as experience points lucrative 
as I expected it to be. So that could mean that they fixed that exploit, or I don't know if exploit's the right word, that highly rewarding pattern that they may have reduced the value of it. And, um, or it may be that, so it may be that uh, destroy, disbelieving illusionary creatures just doesn't get too many experience points, or maybe that illusionary creatures just aren't worth many experience points, or something else. But I farmed uh, wind heroes for a good five, ten minutes and only got a thousand five hundred experience points and decided not to do that anymore. Well, wind warriors, not wind heroes. I guess I could um, start traversing this level in a way that says that I don't care about my spell points. So instead of going this long circuitous route, I could just head south directly. And I'd have to recast my light spell, but I seem to have plenty of spell points right now. I actually filled up the inventory slots on the character I rolled up just to carry gems. So she's full of gems that she's just sitting around holding for me. And my mages are additionally nearly full of gems. And there's some gems on other party members who can't use them just to hand them over to my spellcasters as needed. Dragon Breath on Reputed Zombie. Only one partially resisted. Well, I, what is going on with those like lines behind the zombies? It's like ding, 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 ding. I don't know. I guess that's supposed to be half toning. It's a sort of odd stylization. <laughs>
so from here, I guess I want to just go bump a little to the south and then back and then to the north. And I just hit a trap, which I think. gonna let me look game this is only a one-way whoop that is the wrong keystroke this is only a one-way door part of the time I can't I can't update you every time them through for, for me, or whether I like it or not. So I'm going to start off by putting these axes blocks. I think there's a faster way to get rid of these edges. How about if I paint with them? Well, you, you sort of can, you just have to be precise. And I want this bit. I'm going to leave these walls here. Uh, they may be wrong, but for now it feels convenient. And for the last part, we have our legend or map key. Okay, so now I don't want to take the stairs right back up. It was interesting. They said that I wouldn't be able to come back that way, and then there are stairs to go back that way. Huh.
Anyway, some things I could see while I was down there were, I think, something like that is how it's arranged. I'm actually astounded by how good these dogs look when it's just black and white are the only two colors here. I don't know, I guess line art is a classic thing. This is not exactly line art, but whatever. You know, black and white, simple pen and ink drawings are not a new concept. Okay, yeah, I had to solve the riddle to get back to where I just was. Yeah, so I don't know why they told me I wouldn't be able to go back, because it seems like I can go back. Anyway, uh, we have a note here. The Spectral hand of fear runs bony fingers down your spine. The air is hot and floats. This place feels like the inside of a grave. And look at that. I put the note on the wrong square somehow. And I don't even know how to how to copy it. Okay, this is a little dumb, but oh, I just managed to move it. Okay, congratulations for accidental success. I don't know if I can do enough damage with my spells to matter on the killer to fast, but I'm going to try. Oh, I didn't mean to make you go faster. Those, look at those damage numbers, they're terrible. I guess they're all resisting. I wonder if this game has more subtlety than the earlier where I still did. It's like, Maybe as well as half resisting, you could three quarters resist or something like that. So I was doing, I think, 80 damage with the same spell. And I think they summoned more of themselves. How about Shock Sphere? Do you like Shock Sphere better or worse? Oh, and if they're summoning more, I should turn off the summoning. Yeah, they're summoning more. Oh, Shock Sphere works way better. Or it seems to. Maybe I just had lucky before.
So this is the no summon spell. And I would expect there to be no more in a pass after this point. Joining the uh, fight. So far they have failed every time they tried to summon. Of course the number of times they try is going to go down as I kill them. Okay, I'm starting to feel like they're softened up enough for me to just, for my fighters to mop them up. Although Chantrell has gotten to below half of her, around half of her normal hit points. Poison blades. I think they're are squares where the combat is guaranteed, and I think that was probably one of them. But... It's going to be subtle, and I don't think I'm going to mark it in general. So one, two, three, four. We have three some things. Uh, I'm suspicious the middle one is a door. Traps, and then I don't know what happens. Trap and trap. I put a two below. We know we're on that level. I should zoom this in. Seven north, that's expected, and ten west. That's exactly where we are, but we got turned around, so that means this is probably a spinner. Although it's a spinner and a trap. I don't really have a good way to represent that, but I'm going to try this one. And I think it's anti magic because all my spells are off. Well, not by just standing here. But this seems to be anti magic. Okay, and now we know why we, we were told we couldn't return. Because there's a one-way wall. Or something like it. Oh, 
Oh, and there's something that was draining my spell points that I didn't notice. Okay. Yeah, this square does. I'm gonna run so I can better watch my spell points. That square does. This one does too. Spinner does not. So uh, these are all magic drain. But the shape of the room seems to be like this. That's a hit point drain. So is that. Uh, and this base is again a trap spinner. Sticky, and I don't remember what I decided to use for sticky. I used so far the word stuck, just a label written on the map. I'll leave that for now, too, because I don't know what else to do. They send you into a room, drain all your magic, make you get stuck so you lose more magic, and then on the other side drain your place. It's not very friendly. You know, this makes me think of the hint for this level, which is down below eschew the first right turn thing to do. It's like, don't go into this terrible room. Well, my problem of having way too many gems, that's largely solved. Someone had... Okay, so... Hop Blossom has this mother load of extra items. Okay, and now I'm in a room where in front of me there's a wall. Again, it's also about 
time to call the segment. Fifty-six points of damage being burned by. That is that is not good. I may just die. Loom bards. Okay, let's run. That didn't work. Let's hope I get good uh, initiative rolls. Rest. Do you have that? No, you don't. Um, Leshenu. Restoration. Oh, Griselda's dead, so no restoration. In fact, the whole party's probably going to die. Uh, can I even get out if I... Yeah, I probably don't even know how to get out of the dungeon if I successfully run. Okay, well, I'm too tired to deal with this right now, so we're going to leave it on this cliffhanger. Do they get out alive?